driver. How far did he stop? It's almost there. I'll drop you at the town square where it's been. Why lock the gates? Keeps out wanderers looking for work. You know what those folks like that interfering with our affairs. Is the bus from Arkham always this empty? Aye, and we prefer it that way. Not many come to Innsmouth. But what about trade? Surely the port needs business. Innsmouth has the means to look after them home. Into the line. Could you direct me to the first national grocery store? I hear they have a shop in town. I don't know nothing about that. Oh, well, you see, I'm looking for a young lad called Brian Burnham. I'm a friend of the family. He worked in the store. Don't know who you're talking about, fella. Chit-chatting to him is gonna get me no place fast. First National is a large chain. You sure you haven't seen it? I'm sure. Stop bothering me with questions. Nothing of interest. It won't open. Evening. Hi. My name's Jack Walters. I'm just visiting. You don't say, sir. Gilman. Charlie Gilman. I run this here hotel of an evening. You got any rooms? I'd not rightly know that for sure. All habits cleaning rooms at present. Them's from out of town can leave a horrid mess. <laughs> Hello again. Yeah? I'm after directions to the First National Grocery Store. And I'm busy, so stop your pestering me with questions. Hello, Gilman. What are you wanting now? Strange thing about that Burnham lad. Burnham? Kent rightly says I know what you're talking about. That's odd. He was all over the Arkham Press. Must have been a bit of a local scandal. Them's matters for the police, stranger. Innsmouth's not a town for rumoring and talking. How's business? Can't you see I'm busy? Stop bothering me with your talking. Sorry. Aye, I'm plenty sure you are. An old grandfather clock. It's locked. This statue commemorates the men who fought in the Revolutionary War. I 
I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Can't help you. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Tim Riley says I know him. Excuse me, Constable. Jack Walters. Ah, uh, ropes. Elliot ropes. What do you want? Could you help out a stranger to this fine port? Are you being funny? No, not at all. I'm after directions to the First National. I hear they have a store in town. Innsmouth don't take too kindly to them from out of town. Get lost, stranger. What happened here, Constable? Nothing. Oh, swell. You can let me pass, then? No. You'll have to go another way. Constable Ropes. What you after now? You ever meet Brian Burnham? I couldn't rightly say as eyes I remember. The burglarizing of the First National is big news in the Arkham Press. The Burnham lad must be one of your prime suspects. Any luck tracing his whereabouts? No. That'd be a matter for the Order. The Order? Isn't this a matter for the police? Yup. That too. Who is the Order? Them's that look after affairs there in Innsmouth. And you'd mind your business not to be asking too many questions. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? If you don't like it, just turn around and leave. Don't budge. Evening. Uh, the name's Jack Walters. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss... Miss will do for now. Welcome to Innsmouth, Mr. Walters. Thanks, I think. Take my advice. Do what you must and then leave. Tonight, this port does not cater well to visitors. While I appreciate your concern, miss, I can handle lousy hospitality. Very well, Mr. Walters. Hello again. Mr. Walters. Look, miss, I only want a conversation. There's no harm in that, right? There's plenty of harm. It's not wise to be seen gossiping with outsiders. How about playing dumb for a few minutes? No. She's too frightened to talk to me. But this lady knows something. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked- I can't be seen talking to you. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked- I can't be seen talking to you. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked- You're in the wrong place asking the wrong questions, outsider. Where is everybody? It's very quiet. It's getting late, outsider. Folks as know what's good for them are safely bolted in their homes by now. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. You're in the wrong place, asking the wrong questions, outsider. Oh, brave, you're in the ocean. 
It's just an advertisement for the local Methodist church. With a good wind pipe in early, in the towel and scowl and smile. Ah, <laughs> my boys, these are the joys of the noble and the brave. Who love a life in the tempest strife, in the home of the mountain wave. When the driving rain of the hurricane puts the lights of the lighthouse out. And the growling thunder sounds is gong, and the whirlwinds battle out. Ha ha, Dan! Who's that there? Who oh, can you spare a few pennies, young mister? I can give you something for your generosity. Who are you? Zadok! That be my name. Though too few years it now. Zadok Helen! Do you know a Brian Burnham? Just a youngin. Worked over the store. He's gone. Killed, I reckon. Killed? What makes you think that? Them's from out of town running a store. Taking business from the Order of Dagon. They'd not accept that. What else can you tell me about this port? Ye just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice, and old Zadok will Heal your ears. It won't open. It's just a trash can. Nothing of interest. The old drunkard knows something. I don't think it would take much there to get his tongue wagging. The police clearly don't want me snooping around. I need to be more careful. Windows smashed. I can see what looks like an old dark room. Nothing of interest here. Can't see anything of use. The door's bolted shut. Thank you. 
It's unlocked. Sorted paperwork, but nothing of any real interest. It won't open. It won't budge. These posters are everywhere. The glass has been broken, and there's scratch marks on the wood. Strange. The till's empty. won't open. Looks like the door was forced open, and there's scratch marks on the wood. These scratch marks look like they were made by some kind of animal. Strange. Looks like the door was forced open, and there's scratch marks on the wood.
Stock reminders and general notices. Nothing of interest. The store appears to have been doing quite well under Brian. A typewriter. Invoices and receipts. Nothing of interest. There's a bottle of bootleg rum and a wooden handle. It looks like a diary. It's gotta have some clues. I can feel the air through holes in the brickwork here. Assorted foodstuffs. Nothing useful. Cellars filled with human remains. There are some issues of the Innsmouth Courier lying here, and they're dated 1846. Old photos of Innsmouth. Most of them have faded beyond recognition.
nothing of interest. It won't budge. in here. This noose broad must have kicked it a few months back. Nope, nothing important here. The door is bolted shut. Hello, Jack. Do I know you? Lucas Mackey. Sorry to startle you. Insmith doesn't get a lot of visitors. New names spread fast. What are you doing in town, Jack? Hear about the missing Burnham boy? Not bad. I'm a private detective. My client's a friend of the Burnhams. Seen the latest press from Arkham? Your boy's been quite busy. Hmm. What about you, Mackie? You're obviously not a local. What's your business in town? <laughs> True enough, Jack. Nothing too exciting, I'm sorry to say. I'm a government factory inspector. They posted me in this rotten hole to check over the old Marsh refinery. Speaking of which, I've got an appointment with the manager, Jacob Marsh. Okay. Maybe I'll catch you later. That's the first friendly face I've seen in this damn town. But I've been in this business long enough to know he's hiding something. If you pardon my asking, have you lived here in this port all your life? Less than a sudden years in old lady Warren's house. Before that, over by a fishing canary. Can canary. Old lady Warren's house? Go and fetch me a bottle of something to wet old Zedox whistle, and I'll tell you all. Why, you're uncommonly kind, young fella. Here be a little something in gratitude that may help you in your search. Uh, uh. <laughs> ah. 
Now you be calling me crazy. Like them that's the rumor in an anchor on an lip switch. But old Zadok's seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. Mm. Ah. Old Captain Mobit where it all began. Telling desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that would answer their prayers. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, uh, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Obed and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Uh, a party of good folk followed Captain Obed's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and thirty of his fathers were in jail. And for weeks all were quiet, till that artful night of forty-six. Them's out outside reckon out it being a riot. But I'd seen them. Swarms of them. Look, old man. I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. Oh, psst. Was a massacre. The jail thrown open, mounds of the dead and the dying, <gasps> shooting and screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy as strangers if we were known what was good for us. Sadok. Who did all this? Who did all this? Except the old captain was now deeper in debt to his even gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Obed told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. What the hell are these oaths? You just asked old wastes about oaths of Dagon. I, he take the third oath. Just head over to his hole in the dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. Mr. Walters, I must speak with you. It's Jack. And just hold on there a minute, sweetheart. Are you going to even tell me your name? My name's Rebecca Lawrence, and unless you want to join Innsmouth's long list of missing, I'd urge you to follow me. Missing, huh? Like Burnham? Of that, I'm not sure. You'd be better off asking the Billingham's daughter, Ruth. She was dating Brian. What? Who's Ruth? Quickly. We don't have much time. You've got to follow me. Jack, Innsmouth is a strange place. There are things that have no business being here. Foul, reeking things. Strange. Trust me. I'm good with strange. That remains to be seen. But I can help you. My father discovered this strange sign while studying an old manuscript. It seems to ward off the more unusual elements in Innsmouth. Whenever you find one, you can use it to find a moment of sanctuary. Now, I must leave before we're seen together. I've seen that eye-like symbol somewhere before, but never surrounded by a star. <laughs> 